In this video, I'm going to introduce you to an amazing woman who was inspired to build her own labyrinth and she's letting the public use it. So stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about valuable information that comes up in my past life regression sessions. If any of these topics are of interest to you, please hit the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to this channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. At its most basic level, the labyrinth is a metaphor for the journey to the center of your deepest self and back out into the world with a broadened understanding of who you are. Aloha, I'm Mary Love, said like Mary Love, like one word, and I live on the island of Hawaii uh, for the past 15 years um, here in this gorgeous paradise. I'm an energy healer, a nurse, an interpreter, a mother, a tutu, that's a grandmother, um, and a lover of life. How the labyrinth came about here on my property went back to probably, well labyrinth are hundreds and thousands of years old, but in my life it went back to 1998 when I was going through a very difficult transition in my life and I had heard about labyrinths but I didn't know exactly what they were and a girlfriend drug me to one that a church opened up in their courtyard every Thursday and it, as a, a just a silent walking meditation, no one told me any expectations, any experience. I just began to walk it and walk it and walk it um, through tears, through joy, through being completely empty and neutral um, and experience great healing in that space. So that's what it's about for me, is about healing. So installing the labyrinth right here on my property came about through the co-vision with a friend who wanted to put one in this neighborhood. And I thought, well, why can't it be done on private property? Because what I wanted to do was share that healing experience. Uh, again, not to define it, not to say that here are the rules or this is what will happen, but to not only provide a beautiful place for meditation, but a significant sacred spot, a power spot. So I have literally labored, blood, sweat, and tears, blood picking up lava rocks and moving them, um, so much back-breaking labor, and I loved every single minute of it. Uh, there is no regret, there's no time. My neighbors would say, stop working, you're making us feel lazy, and I'm like, you have no idea. It was such a natural high, it was such a beautiful, beautiful labor of love that I was almost a little sad when I laid the last stone. It's now opened up for the community. We've had a blessing and an activation. Lots of people were here. It was a beautiful, beautiful musical event in the early evening. What I expect now, and, and it's already began to be used, um, we've had one full moon, and I think that we will probably have either new moon or full moon um, open gathering experiences on a monthly basis, but it's open 24 hours a day for anyone to come through. It's on the um, global Labyrinth Society um, website, so it's registered, so you can find it easily. Um, and a, a lot of times I'll just look over and I just hear the cinders, the crunch, crunch, crunch of the cinders, and there's one single person walking any time of day. Um, it doesn't matter, and it is a completely private experience. Um, when we do the gatherings, we'll do a little bit of talking and teaching about what it is and some of the protocol attached with it. People will go have their own experience. If they want to just leave at that time, they can, or they can um, gather afterwards and talk about their experiences as a shared community value. And that's, that's my vision. So I would say the absolute most important thing to um, keep in mind is respect. Respect in the form of silence. It's a silent meditation, it's not an interactive one. Um, like any other meditation, sitting or standing or walking, um, this is obviously an open eye walking meditation until you get into the center of the labyrinth. Once you're there, you can stand or be seated. 
um, for as long as you wish. Generally, people take an intention in with them, but um, most of all, you're respecting other people's silence, and even if it's just you, especially in this setting, it's a neighborhood. So I'm being very respectful of my neighbors. I have their blessing. I have their permission. Um, but that's the most important thing, that it is quiet. I, I don't mind how long you stay in there with your prayers or your intentions. A lot of times people walk in, meditate for whatever period of time, and as they walk out, it's supposed to be a time of release, of leaving that intention in the center of the circle. Um, walking back out, you can walk straight out or you can walk the entirety of the labyrinth out. And that's a bit of an unwinding. And you can think of it as the path of your life. You are walking the path of your life in a mindful, respectful, and in this case, solo experience. So the respect and the silence is the most important thing to bear in mind. Thank you very much, Mary Love, for telling us all about your labyrinth. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see more of you later. I want you to know that I make these videos because I want you to remember who you truly are. You are a spirit being having a human experience. You come from a place of unconditional love. You are perfect in every way. You just don't remember it sometimes. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up so I know to record more videos like this. Thank you.